Hello everyone. Welcome to Meliora Paralegal. In this video, we are going to talk about what are the things one must keep in mind before getting married to an NRI. Beware if you are marrying an NRI. The term non-resident Indian or simply NRI sounds fascinating. It has great gravity to pull the attention of most of the youngsters. But first of all, I would like to share the popular proverb that is, All that glitters is not gold. I am not saying that you people do not prefer such person as your spouse. Nor am I saying that all NRIs are mischief and not trustworthy. But yes, I would like to beware you people that before getting married with an NRI, take precaution for future security. As you may hear and read many cases of NRI deserted wives. So, take precaution in advance. Your simple step can protect not only your parents' money, but also your life. Remember, if a person is honest, he would never mind to share his details, which is identity and other details, honestly. If you find the respective guy is reluctant or hesitant in sharing his details, don't take time in rejecting him. Don't play with your life with the fascination of living abroad as it may leave you in a small room of your Indian house. Now you might have the question that what precautions you people should take before saying yes to an NRI. The first point that you need to take care is make a thorough inquiry about him and his family in India as well as in abroad. Try to get the answers of the following questions. What is the native place? What is his parents' profession and reputation in his area? What sort of relation son has with his parents? In which country he lives? From where is he educated? What sort of work he does? What is the name of company where he works? What is salary? Etc. Once you have done it, now the next point that you need to take care is Ask for the identity. While asking such question, you can also share all your details. If someone is honest and truthful, he or she will never hesitate to do so, as it is matter of someone's life. Please collect the identity such as copy of passport, Aadhaar card, driving license, bank account statement, local ID of the country where he is living, official I card, etc. Once you've done this, don't forget to verify these documents. Now the next step is Discuss the past life and future plan with him to check the trustworthiness and honesty. I know it is difficult task, but while talking, you can make overall idea that how he is. If he is overpromising and caring, it means there is definitely some untruthfulness. The honest person does not promise in air nor he shows a big dream. Rather, he talks about the facts and reality only. Therefore, if you pay a little attention, then with the help of such chit-chat, you can come to know the reality. Now the next point is, pay attention to their dowry demands. It is one of the most important aspects. All of us know that dowry is an illegal act. Nonetheless, if a father gives gift, which is anything costly item or cash money, no problem, as every father does so as per his paying capacity. 
But if you find the NRI guy and his parents, which is a little okay, but over demanding, demanding different costly items, luxury car, flat, etc. Simply kick out such relationship. The people who are greedy and making relationship on money can never be trustworthy. In fact, this is the indication of future dangerous. If you identify means saved your life or not then will be a victim of NRI. Once you have cleared all these things and got married, then next step is do not rely only on the religious or customary marriage ceremony, but rather get your marriage registered sincerely. Now the next step is when you are going abroad with your husband, give all details to your parents in reference to contact details and physical address. It is essential to share your contact details with your parents and after reaching there, be in touch with your parents and other relatives and keep calling at least once in two days. Secondly, do not hide any strange behavior of your husband. Rather, if you find any strange behavior of your husband, Share it with your parents, siblings, or anyone whom you believe. Last but not the least. In such a case, take of assistance of a good and knowledgeable lawyer. The involvement of a lawyer in such marriage will secure your future. I know many of the points for many of might appear strange. But to make it familiar, I have a humble request, that is, just check the number of NRI deserted wives in India and think. Do all these advices sound irrational and impractical? I repeat, the honest person will never mind in sharing any such detail. Only the person who has dishonesty in mind will raise questions against these verifications. However, life is yours, so choice will be also yours. So, accept these suggestions or not is unto you. If you want any legal assistance, either before and after such marriage, then do not hesitate to contact us at 9780-9780.